Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dietitian's Digest, episode two. I'm doing something a little wild, a little crazy, a smidge insane. Oh, what's in the box? The box. In the box? Oh my god, calm down. Today, we're gonna eat bugs. Correction, I'm gonna eat crickets, you're gonna watch me, we're gonna talk about insect protein and maybe learn a thing or two. Ring a ding ding. <laughs> Sound like a plan, Stan? Okay, great. Because you guys, insects are the next or the new beef. Today, we got here some cricket protein powder. So this is just whole roasted cricket protein. Entomo Farms, they have their own nutrition facts. So not every farm will have their own nutrition facts label. The nutritional composition can vary based on the farm. We also got some whole roasted yummy, yummy crickets. Ooh, dang, look at tasty. I know some of you guys are salivating right now. It's completely normal. The next pantry staple, maybe, possibly. I know in Canada, eating insects is not yet mainstream, but we are headed there. The environmentalists are going full steam ahead. Engine is running. Everything, all the places, the keys, what? All the ducks are in a row. Insect protein is coming, guys. So get on board now. We could talk all day long about nutrition, and what the benefits are of eating these, but if we can't get behind the taste, the texture, the palatability, then it's not gonna work. So we're gonna do that, but first we're gonna talk about the benefits because I need to psych myself up, get mentally prepared to eat this. Some background about me, I have never looked at a cricket and said, damn. I think that's a reasonable thing. I have, some would say, an irrational fear, maybe, of insects. We're eating insects today. <laughs> So if I can get over this aversion is what I'm trying to say, you can definitely get behind insect protein. Let's call a spade a spade. The food system of the world is not sustainable. We can't go at the current rate that we're going at and feed the global population. The food system is not sustainable from a farmer perspective, environmental perspective, a consumer perspective, just everything in between. That's a whole separate video in and of itself, but we need to find a solution to feed the world, people. Doing my part, I'm taking one for the team to see how crickets taste. So this is me doing the world a kindness. Who knows, maybe I like crickets. Everybody gets a cricket on their meal plan. Future clients, if you're out there, if you love crickets. If we're gonna be replacing animal protein sources with insect protein sources, we need to know how it stacks up against beef, poultry, fish, what is the protein source, quality, digestibility, all of that. The nutritional profile of insects varies from species to species. Some have a high fat content, a high calorie content, others are leaner sources of protein, more concentrated sources of protein, and vice versa. So knowing your insect species nutrient profile is very important for whatever your goals are, your intentions with eating that protein source. But I think for the most part, people only care about the protein. We're gonna talk about the micronutrition too and other health benefits, but protein, gram per gram basis. Crickets are actually more rich in protein than animal sources. So about 60 to 70% of crickets are protein versus animal sources, the range is about 15 to 20%. So already there, we're off to a great start, off to the races. Also high quality, meaning that it contains complete spectrum of amino acids. The profiles of amino acid content varies again by the species. Crickets are specifically very high in leucine and leucine is a very important amino acid when it comes to protein building, protein repair because this amino acid might be able to independently stimulate the body to start building and repairing muscle and muscle protein. Overall, you need all the amino acids to build a muscle, but leucine is very important in triggering that muscle machinery. Getting a good source with a high amount of leucine, like crickets, is amazing. As far as digestibility and bioavailability, meaning once you eat crickets, how well does it enter the bloodstream to be accessible to our muscles to start this whole process? Obviously, whey protein is still the gold standard. It's an isolated protein source. It's high in leucine. It's very digestible. So whey protein remains the gold standard. But cricket protein has other benefits, which we will talk about. But overall, if you're just choosing from a species A to species B to crickets, crickets have the highest quality protein because of that leucine and the highest digestibility. So if you're looking just for a protein source, crickets are your best bet. But besides protein, crickets contain prebiotic fiber. The outside of their body is that harder, I'm, I'm hoping it's crunchy and not chewy, a harder outer layer, uh, that is a prebiotic fiber. And prebiotic just means it helps to feed 
your healthy gut bacteria, which promotes overall a healthy gut. And that has so many ramifications on your health that I don't even think science fully knows, but supports immune health, mental health, physical health, so much. Like your gut communicates to your whole entire body. So any food source that can help promote gut health is huge check mark. Crickets also contain a healthy fat, the omega-3 fatty acids, more than salmon, which is touted as like the holy grail omega-3 food source. Crickets are a better source. Ooh, are these looking more delicious to you? It's also very unique to get um, a really high quality protein source that has a really good fiber source and also a really good fatty acid source. Micronutrient wise, crickets also have more iron on a gram per gram basis, more calcium, more potassium than spinach, milk, and a banana respectively. Lastly, vitamin B12. So animal sources are really the only source of vitamin B12, especially if you're a vegetarian, you're going to need to supplement with maybe like a microalgae supplement. Other than that, let me know in the comments below, if you're a vegetarian, would you consider eating insects? Or do you consider them still like kind of like an animal? don't want to eat insects. If not, it's a really great source of vitamin B12. 317% of the recommended daily value is in one serving of this. If I didn't say the servings already, one third of a cup and uh, two tablespoons is a serving for the powder. So in just that little amount, you get 317% of your vitamin B12. Let's talk about the downfalls now, possible considerations to take into account because nobody's perfect, not even you. Cholesterol. This amount varies just as everything else does by the farm, by the diet of the cricket, by the processing. All of that can affect the nutrient profile, but diet specifically can affect the cholesterol content of crickets. These contain 65 milligrams of cholesterol per serving. Whew, just saw a tentacle. We don't want to try to get cholesterol from our diet. It's not something that we need. Our body can produce its own cholesterol. In the future, if you're shopping around for insects, make sure to choose one that's the lowest in cholesterol. Other things to consider, if you have an allergy to dust mites or crustaceans, you could also have a cross-reactivity, um, an allergic reaction to crickets or insects from that allergy. You could have an allergic reaction because of similar proteins in those kind of things. Butterflies or beetles that are kind of new, they might contain toxins, so there's such thing as cyanide producing butterflies. That's just something to keep in mind if the lineup of edible insects expands. Make sure you're choosing safe insects. There's also components that we don't fully know of. So things like African silkworm, they contain a heat resistant enzyme which could lead to a thiamine deficiency. So things like that to keep in mind as far as health considerations. Also pesticides, heavy metals, and just environmental toxins could be absorbed into the insect and you could get that when you eat them. So again, choosing very sound farms to purchase your insects from is also key. Other than that, I think it's safe to say that insects have a pretty good safety profile and a good nutritional profile. We're going to try them now. Bring in Entomo Farms to us. We're going to start with the Cricut Protein Powder and use a dietitian illustrated favorite of the Cherry Choco Mint Shake. Cherry Choco Cricut Mint Shake, I should say. Be right back. I'm going to go make my shake. Okay? I'm going to use one serving. One serving gives you 13 grams of protein. 13 grams of protein in a third of a cup, 13 grams of protein in two tablespoons. Let's dive in. I'm back. <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> okay, we got the shake here. Cherry Choco Cricket Mint Shake. I will say that the bag when I opened it did have like a distinct smell. Not good or bad. Not bad. Actually not that affected. It's like, I wouldn't really tell the difference. Ooh, Cricket Protein Powder for the win. I just put the shake away. So I could continue on with this video. I just want to revisit the smell of this before I eat the whole ones just to get a better sense of what we're dealing with here. Oh, what does that smell like? Something very familiar. Crackers. <laughs> Let's fact check my subjective opinion, which makes no sense. Be right back. <laughs> uh, oh, oops, <laughs> my puppy's here. Okay, so that wasn't helpful because the person I just asked used to have a pet lizard and they said that this smelled like crickets. Oh, you want to do the taste test too? Oh my gosh, dogs like crickets. Oh, what? I think it smells like crackers. That's just me. Okay. Are crickets safe for dogs? Are crickets safe for dogs to eat? Hey, bear. Oh. She is relentless. Pardon? So she can eat them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
Piper can do this with me. Piper, come. I'm glad I'm not alone. I have a friend. Piper, up. Oh, we're gonna eat crickets. Do we eat crickets? You want to eat crickets? We're going to eat these together. This is Piper. Boxer Doberman mix. To look beautiful for the camera. Ooh, we're gonna eat crickets together. This is like a mother-daughter bonding moment. That is what it looks like inside. I'm debating if it's better to eat just one or a whole bunch. I feel like if you eat a whole bunch at one time, it's like, what's what, who's who, I don't know. Is that a, a lake? Is that a, I don't know. If you have, some would say, an irrational fear, maybe, of insects. Holy I can't do all of them, okay. I can do three little ones. Wait, I have to get used to just even holding them before I can actually eat them. Some of them have like tentacles. Oh, I'm like shaking in my boots. Oh, there's the cricket. So real. Oh, I will just eat one because I can't. Should I just do a full? No, okay. I'm gonna do a full handful. This is like the toddler challenge. I'm just gonna go to the washroom, see if you eat it. Wait. Okay, we're gonna do it. Ready? Go get it! Woo! Oh. It's not bad at all. Oh, I feel so relieved. They were crunchy and they kind of just like dissolved into powder. So that was a great experience. <laughs> I can definitely get behind this. I was too much in a state of fear to really focus on the taste. Didn't really taste like anything that was disgusting. Dogs really like crickets. Mm. What does it taste like, Piper? <laughs> Gosh, just two gals eating cricket. Can we just thank Baby Jesus, but they were not chewy. They're super crunchy, but like crispy. It's good. And you don't really notice that you're eating an insect in your mouth. Oh, it smells like sunflower seeds. <laughs> Look at me, who is she? What a little tree. You get that nutty taste, but with all the nutrients, like so nutrient dense. Do you like it? Oh, good girl. You need to stay and look regal for the rest of the video. Well, that was a success. Definitely wouldn't be opposed to buying crickets again. This was a little bit of an effort because I had to order it, wait for it to come, pay for shipping. But if it was just on a shelf at a grocery store, I think I would buy it just as a snack. This is actually good. Do you want to try some? He says no, but that will change. I've conquered my fears. That was amazing. Overall, Jiminy Cricket's ashes were hardly noticeable. Didn't notice them in my smoothie. These taste like sunflower seeds, crunchy, crispy, can't even tell they're insects. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. That was insane. I'm gonna go now. Bye guys.